All right, so that fantasy football 101 video that I put in the league manager's note, uh, it's a good start, and it's got a lot of key uh, elements to it, and uh, and that's one of the reasons that that's it's got a lot of key elements to it, and it makes it's got a lot of key elements to it, and it gives you an overview of what we're going to be doing. And, uh, and what fantasy football is. Um, I just wanted to go over a few things real quick. First of all, scoring. Um, I just wanted to go over thing, a few things real quick. <clears throat> I just wanted to go over a few things real quick. First of all, scoring. Um, scoring's big because if you don't know how to score, then it's kind of tough to win, right? So this is basically... So this is basically how it works. You have the players on your team. They're all from different teams. Some of them might be playing each other in any given week. The way you score is for your individual players to do... The way you score is for your individual players to have individual success. What does that mean? Well, say that you are playing me. You have Philip Rivers, and I have uh, Keenan Allen, their second-year wide receiver. Philip Rivers throws a touchdown to Keenan Allen. You get points for Philip Rivers throwing a touchdown. I get points for Keenan Allen catching a touchdown. This is, and that's why it's so much fun. Because and that's why it's so much fun. You might have players on ten different teams that you want to watch. You want to follow them and see how they're doing. This gives you a reason to watch almost every single game on any given week. And even if you don't have players in a certain game that's on television, you may want to be scouting that team for potential pickups later in the season. Or maybe your opponent has some players in that game that are playing. And you kind of want to root against them. So scoring, um, I so a little breakdown in scoring. Basically, we get basically we get points two ways. One way is yardage. The other way is actual scoring. I guess for our main players. We get points two ways. We get points for yardage, and we get points for actual scoring. Points for yardage is calculated differently for each player. Quarterbacks get one point for every 25 yards thrown. Quarterbacks get one point for every 25 yards thrown. Quarterbacks get one point for every 25 yards thrown. The lame part about that is that if some if a quarterback threw for 24 yards, they wouldn't get that point because they didn't hit 25 exactly. So what we did is we went ahead and made what's called fractional scoring. So now instead of every 25 yards being one point, we made it to where every one yard is .04 points. And if you multiply that one by 25, .04 times 25, you get 25 and one. 
So basically, it's a way to break down and get points for every single yard that your quarterback throws for. Wide receivers and running backs, a little bit different. Because throwing is easier than running or catching, wide receivers and running backs get one point for every 10 yards. Or point one points for every one yard. Some leagues, you might hear some acronyms flying around such as PPR. PPR means point per reception. And what this is, is every time a receiver or a running back or a tight end catches the ball, they get points. Some leagues do a full point for every catch. Other leagues do a half a point for every catch. Other leagues do a quarter of a point for every catch. But we're not doing any points for catches. We are a non-PPR league. Team defensive scoring is a little bit different as well. Everybody starts out with 10 points, I believe, at the beginning of the game. And then as your team defense gives up points and gives up yardage, you we decrease the points. All of the scoring is available on the league website. But defensive, but team defenses can score points too. Interceptions for touchdowns, fumble recoveries, fumble recoveries for touchdowns, interceptions. And a team defense also encompasses the team special team. It's a defense, it's a defense slash special team. Therefore, kickoff returns, punt returns, count towards your defense. Guys, make sure that you look at the scoring and the rules and the guidelines, and if you have any questions about anything, Feel free to ask, because once the first game of the season, because once week one rolls around, there's going to be no changing anything, unless there's a mistake somewhere. Another big thing we want to make sure we do, got to set a lineup every single week. Nothing's worse than playing with a league of people that don't care. Nothing's worse than... Nothing's worse than having a... Nothing's worse than having a team owner that just doesn't care. Make sure you set a lineup every week. Make sure that you take the players that are in bye weeks out of the lineup.
Bye weeks don't start until week four, and I believe they go until about week 11 or 12, maybe. Just make sure that you're paying attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or Ronnie or Dan. Dan gets it. If you have any questions, feel free to just text me. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what your concerns are. Again, our... Again, our lineup is one quarterback... Two running backs, two wide receivers, one tight end, one flex position, which can either be a running back, wide receiver, or tight end flex. One team defense slash special teams, and a kicker. Thank you for watching this video, and let's have a good season.